Apple released macOS Big Sur 11.1 this week. Has the new update resolved my persistent issues with external displays on my M1 MacBooks? No. Hey, I'm Jerry. And a few weeks ago, I posted a video talking about some of the issues I had with performance and external displays on my M1 MacBooks Air and Pro. I also posted a follow-up explaining how some of the performance issues that I saw could be explained by things like the codec I was using for editing video or unoptimized apps and Rosetta translation. The issues that continued to bug me were the slow USB-C speed and my external monitor only displaying 30 Hertz through Thunderbolt and DisplayPort. So I downloaded the Big Sur 11.1 update to my M1 MacBooks Pro and Air, and they can now display 60 Hertz with my BenQ PD3220U monitor. So I guess that solved all my issues. So be sure to hit the thumbs up button if you liked it, hit subscribe if you want, and I'll see you next time. Wait, no, there's more stuff. Just to get the USB-C speed stuff out of the way first, I've seen no improvements on my T7 SSD speed using the M1 MacBooks after the 11.1 update. They're still much slower at reading this drive than my Intel Macs. But like I always do, I left for lunch and when I came back to the office, I found the new display issues. Waking up the MacBook Pro M1 while connected to the BenQ display created this weird scaled down version of the 4K display on the BenQ monitor. But then it also partially mirrored part of the built-in display on the BenQ as well. That distortion also had this weird ghosting and you know what, it's easier just to show you. I'm connected to the Mac via Thunderbolt, but when I wake it up, you'll see that there's some other screen or display issue. And it looks kind of funky right here, but you can actually see what's happening when I unlock the computer. So we have essentially multiple displays kind of distortions showing up over here. And then the MacBook screen is kind of mirrored on this side. So we can bring up display preferences and show you what the configuration is. The configuration is as it should be with the MacBook display to the right of the BenQ display. And the BenQ display is in fact running at 60 Hertz. See that right there. And if you look over here, you can see that we have kind of like a, a mirrored distortion going on between the MacBook display and the right side of the BenQ display. This can be fixed by disconnecting the Thunderbolt cable and reconnecting it. Give it one second. There we go. So the display is now fixed, but this happens frequently when the computer goes to sleep and I wake it back up. But everything is back to normal now after reconnecting the cable. So the 60 Hertz issue seems to be fixed on the M1 MacBooks when connected to the BenQ display using macOS 11.1. But now I have this issue when waking up the computer connected directly to the display with Thunderbolt. And you might be thinking that I should just use another connection option like HDMI or DisplayPort. Well, the issue actually happens with all three connection options on my BenQ display and the MacBook Pro M1. Now you're probably thinking that this is a problem with the monitor, the BenQ monitor, obviously. So it's time for some tests. I have a MacBook Pro M1, MacBook Air M1, and a 16 inch MacBook Pro that I'm going to use to test with this BenQ monitor. And I'm going to try HDMI, DisplayPort, and Thunderbolt on all of them. Starting with Thunderbolt connected directly to the monitor, we already know that waking up the Pro M1 from sleep causes this weird distortion. So let's give the MacBook Air a shot. The MacBook Air luckily did not display any issues when waking up when connected via Thunderbolt to the display. The 16 inch MacBook Pro looked like it was going to be fine at first. I did a number of tests and each time the BenQ display woke up and acted as it should. Unfortunately, after the camera was off, I was still testing and at one point the external display just would not turn on. It kept cycling on and off like it was trying to find a new source. Like I said, I did not get a video of this, but I'll show you an example in just a moment. But the 16 inch MacBook Pro did have a different issue where it was displaying 60 Hertz, but I only had a limited number of resolution options. A disconnect reconnect brought back resolution options, but then I couldn't get 60 Hertz. Now using HDMI and Apple's AV adapter, we can test all three laptops again. 
the Pro M1 displayed the same distortion issue with the mirrored portion of the display. This time the MacBook Air woke up with a different issue where it looks like colors are inverted or discolored on the external display. I'm not really sure how to explain it, but disconnecting and reconnecting the adapter from the Mac fixes the issue until the next sleep-wake cycle. The 16-inch Pro, on the other hand, worked just fine. Moving on to DisplayPort going through a CalDigit Soho dock, the Pro M1 exhibited the same distortions and duplicated part of the display. The Air M1 and the Pro 16 seemed to work just fine. So after testing all three laptops with the BenQ monitor, with all three connection types, I was pretty confident that the external display was the issue, which really sucks because I think the display is amazing. It's big, it's modern, and it has a very, very good display. Before returning it though, I wanted to run some tests on all of these MacBooks and another 32 inch monitor that I have. It's a Samsung UJ59 series. It's a very basic monitor that runs less than $300. And just to rush through this, I actually had no wake issues with the Samsung monitor using DisplayPort or HDMI with any of the three MacBooks, which is great. So it looks like, again, I've confirmed that the BenQ monitor is bad. The only problem is I don't wanna use the Samsung monitor every day because although it's big and bright and it looks okay, the angles are not the best and the HDMI will not go over 30 Hertz on 4K. That's not a deal breaker. I can get 60 Hertz on DisplayPort, but I still wanted a slightly better display. So I ran to Best Buy and the only 4K monitors they had in stock was the 28 inch Samsung UR55 series, which looked decent enough in the store to get me by for a while. I got home and ran all of the same tests using HDMI and DisplayPort. With DisplayPort, all three computers seemed fine. And I found with HDMI, all three MacBooks would cause the display to cycle on and off like it was searching for a source, just like the 16 inch Pro did with the first monitor. Now, let me just clarify a few things real quick. I did try different cables and different adapters. I tried DisplayPort on two different docks, HDMI on a dock and the Apple AV adapter. And I tried a different Thunderbolt HDMI and DisplayPort cables. And of course, different monitors, all of which produced this weird set of results. Also, all three computers have been updated to 11.1. So what's the issue? Is it Mac OS? Is it the M1 chips? The displays, adapters, cables? I don't know, and I'm kind of running out of ideas. So if you have any suggestions on what it could be, let me know below, as long as it doesn't involve buying more monitors because I can't afford any more. I ran one last test using a Dell PC, and I found zero issues connecting with DisplayPort or HDMI to any of the three displays. Overall, my display issues with the M1 MacBooks continue, or continue to evolve. With the 11.1 update fixing one issue with refresh rate, I now have additional issues with waking up external displays and getting unexpected results. The issues with distortions and discolorations and source searching are not 100% guaranteed that they happen, but they do happen enough that it is expected at this point. Each source computer and monitor combination seem to have their own unique set of issues, but it does look like DisplayPort was a bit more reliable than HDMI in my tests, and the cheaper UJ59 monitor worked pretty well. The 16 inch MacBook Pro was the most reliable machine out of the three and was best when using DisplayPort on the Samsung monitors. This M1 Pro seemed to have the most issues and the M1 Air was the only one that seemed reliable using Thunderbolt connected directly to the BenQ. Anyway you cut it, this seems absurd. I am pretty disappointed in these tests and never thought I would need to choose a monitor based on compatibility issues over just which connections it supports. At this point, I don't think it matters if the cause is the M1 MacBooks or Mac OS. I did not see any issues when using the Windows PC, which cuts down on a lot of the other variables. This needs to be fixed quickly before I pull the rest of my hair out. But until then, I guess I can't take any more breaks during lunch that allow the computer to go to sleep. So if you're looking for a great desktop Mac setup, but now you're persuaded not to go with a MacBook, you should check out this video right over here. Hit the thumbs up button if you liked it. Hit subscribe if you want, and I'll see you next time.